I want to I want to go into more I want to go into more details like I want to talk about um I want to talk about Zaria from the first from the first episode of uh this uh this uh, uh season uh when um uh the little girls you know the ghost give uh give them the the spell when 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 the ghost give uh -huh. give the spell clover was the one when was the one that was in the room when the spell appeared on a book if you remember but after everything after everything it turns out that zaria was the one who saw the spell later on uh -huh. and she 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 is the reason why they all did the spell in the first place not knowing that the spell was a trap so now in this episode yeah. now in this episode uh, uh every every other uh the the whole three witches have gotten their powers except her and she blames herself for putting them all in that kind of uh in that kind of situation great so there's nothing we can do and it's basically all my fault sorry i know it is i'm the idiot who fell for that stupid awakening spell and there's nothing we can do there's no reason for me to be here right now my point my point is uh when when she took uh the you know the evil the evil necklace and put put it on if you were in her kind of situation what would you have done would you have you know put that necklace on or would you have found uh, a, a different way and uh, at a point i i wasn't expecting her to do that kind of stuff because i didn't know that i didn't know she still liked um liked um paris you know when when uh, Paris fainted, she was like uh, she was like talking to the other witches and what did you guys do to her and all, the, and all those kind of stuff. So if you were in her situation, what would you have done in that situation? What do you think about what she did, her putting that uh, evil necklace on, and so on and so forth? What do you think? Well, uh, I did see the part where she did put on the uh, necklace and. Uh, uh, a lot of people are, some people are saying that she shouldn't have done that, that it probably would have done worse if she did, if she did do that. But I love how, I feel like when she puts on, if she, she was trying to put on the necklace to probably save her friend. Yeah. And the fact that she did that, just because we all know that Zarya is not that person who, like, you know, is like the most friendly person yeah. uh, that you've ever met. But the fact that she did that, the, the, the fact that she did that, just to just to find Paris and hope and hope that she will she will, she is okay. That just says a lot about how not how uh, um how uh, nice Zarya is to mm. Paris now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. But anyway, in my in my opinion, I think they 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 could have been a better way. She. She couldn't have felt have felt um for that. That's the second time, and I noticed that she's always been she's always uh, she have always been the one that, as in she's like I think she's she's the weakest among all of them. Like, yeah. like uh the the little girl always do targets like during the spell when when they were given the spell, uh the the little girl know that it, for me if if Zaria was the one who if Clover was the one who saw that spare they wouldn't have done it but yeah. uh zaria saw the spare so i i feel like the the evil one is just targeting zaria alone because i i feel like she's she's the weakest and her being the weakest is that she doesn't know how to you know she doesn't like expressing herself like she keeps everybody away like she doesn't like discussing her personal lives with her friends and stuff Mm -hmm. So that's why she's. I feel that that's why she's always uh, the main target of everything. Yeah. And also talking about uh, Liam. Mm -hmm. So Liam turned out to be the knight and shining armor, and not what we thought he is. You yeah. know, from from our last review, we thought that uh, Liam was actually uh, uh, one of one of the evil ones, one of the bad guys. But it turns out that he's one of the good guys. Yep. So and. And see, seeing him, seeing him uh, uh, on the side, you know, him being on the side of the witches is kind of cool. You know, he can he can breathe he can uh, breathe fire from his mouth as a dragon, as a, a dragon that he really is. And I really love that um, uh, VFX. That's the graphics that you know, uh, Brad TV is really 
is really improving on the graphics like at the beginning of uh, episode 6 when he br he brought out uh, he did a fire through his mouth that graphics was cool mm -hmm. so let's talk about um jordan and senna jordan and senna you know the oh yeah the the tension between the both of them the way the way they are acting you know acting as if they are not interested in, in each other anymore you know th that kind of feeling when you like someone but mm. you can't be with that person uh, at the moment and i believe uh, uh senna is trying to senna is trying to protect him from getting hurt but he doesn't understand it that way because senna doesn't senna haven't really ac actually told him what is going on yeah because he, he because she can't tell him yeah, yeah because she can she but can't. but to me i feel that she can i i want i like when i saw that scene you have no idea how much I want Sienna to just tell him what's going on. Yeah. The fact that she still can't, the fact that it might get worse if she does tell him, makes me very, very just sad. Mm. Uh, but I, I feel like, for me, I feel like uh, she should tell him. It will make things easier. It will, it will make him understand. Yeah. It will make him understand what's actually going on. And actually know that Senna actually loves him and not trying to push him away because if you if you view it from uh jordan's perspective you know not knowing what is going on he just feels like senna is trying to push him away you understand so her, her telling him would make things more easier and even say yeah uh, jordan can really actually help in some cases i don't know yes he doesn't have uh any powers or whatsoever but i believe that he can help as well i think so too 100 percent. yeah and you know if you remember uh from the trailer uh we also saw or uh, saw uh a, a place where uh jordan was possessed mm -hmm. from the trailer so i don't know um i don't know if we anyway we are still going to we are still going to see that i don't want to jump i don't want to speculate uh uh anything so i'm just going to i'm just going to uh, let that be uh there, i wanted to say something about uh jordan but i'm just going to let that be i will find we'll find out more on you know on the next on the next episode mm -hmm. next time on charmers what about Sun and Zarya? They're in the Dark Realm. We don't have much time. How dare you speak the Great One's name? It's okay, Clover. I can do this. What's wrong? I think it's nearby.